If you're looking for a good deal on food and essentials, you might not be getting what you bargained for at a popular discount chain. We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jared Smalley. And I'm Jennifer Bullock, the Ohio Attorney General and Franklin County Auditor, calling out Dollar General for allegedly deceiving their customers. Well, NBC4 investigates Jamie Ostroff first told you about this Tuesday. Since then, the evidence continues to mount. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dollar General is accused of charging higher prices than what is displayed on the store shelves. The auditor, Michael Stanziano's office, says this was going on in eight out of the ten Dollar General stores his office inspected across Franklin County. Since word got out earlier this week, not only has his office gotten more calls from people with similar complaints, I saw for myself just how easy it is to get overcharged. <laughs> I, I will not use that. Karen is a retired teaching assistant living in Clintonville. For years, the Dollar General down the street was a staple for keeping her home stocked with the essentials. Oh, I enjoyed the bargains. I'm looking out to penny pinch everywhere I can. So it was one of my favorite stores up until recently. Karen says the first time she was overcharged for an item, it was on the wrong shelf. The next time she went back. And so I asked the employee who was in the aisles to scan just about everything in my cart. And in that process, he said, you know, everything on this shelf, every price on the shelf is not necessarily accurate because we don't have enough manpower to change the prices. Staffing issue or not. There, there seems to be a weird trend in terms of what's happening in other states and other counties. Uh, Franklin County uh, Auditor Michael Stinziano uh, is trying to get those answers. Uh, so our team talked to the managers that were there. They were given the notice that we give to uh, uh, all entities. After the auditor's office alerted managers and the community about the pricing issues. We've got one on Morse Road. We've got, got one in Clintonville. You want to try there first? Photojournalist Matt Blinn and I went to see how prevalent they really are. We visited four dollar generals in and around Columbus, buying food and essentials at random and checking the receipts. At our first two stops, everything rang up as advertised. But then, so these spaghettios were a dollar fifty on the shelf, but I actually paid two dollars and twenty five cents for them. That's a 50% increase and not the only discrepancy we found. These granola bars, displayed as three dollars and fifty cents, rang up for three eighty five. And this body wash advertised as $2, actually $2.25. For that, Stinziano and Attorney General Dave Yost are working to hold Dollar General accountable. Yost filed a lawsuit this week in Butler County claiming the Tennessee-based company deceived customers using bait and switch tactics. Well, this is not the first time Dollar General has been sued for this exact issue. The state of Vermont filed a similar lawsuit which led to a one5 or 1.75 rather million dollar settlement in 2019. I did try multiple times this week to reach Dollar General over the phone and by email. They have not responded. In the meantime, inspectors with the auditor's office will revisit the same Dollar General stores on Monday to see if they've actually fixed the problem.